Okay. In this video, I'm going to solve another sample problem about torsion. So here's the problem. Letter A. A shaft is 400 millimeters in diameter. The allowable working stress in shear is 60 megapascal. And the allowable angle of this is 1.2 degrees in 16 diameters of length. If G is equal to, or modulus of GDT is equal to 85 gigapascal, determine the maximum torque the shaft can transmit. And the letter B, if the shaft in A has a 200 millimeter axial hole bored throughout its length, by what percentage is the torsional load carrying capacity reduced? Consider the same condition on working stress and angle of twist. Okay. <clears throat> so, letter A, given diameter 400, uh, shear stress 60, angle of twist, this one. Now, ang length niya is 16 diameter, 16D. Mona ang length niya. 16 diameters of length. Ah, so, we will multiply 16 by 400. That will be the length of the shaft. Okay. <clears throat> so, ang require is maximum torque. Now, doha ka criteria. Uh, first criteria is working stress must not exceed 60 mega pascal. Working stress in shear. And the allowable angle of twist is 1.2 degrees. So it is not all. So for working stress, T torque. And for the allowable angle of twist, we're going to also get the value of torque. And from the two values, I compare na to kung, uh, which is maximum sa duha pa values. So, <clears throat> first for the stress, so 60, and then equal to 16t over pi d cube. No. So, ang uh, unit na to is newton millimeters. Kaya okay, force time, distance man ang unit sa torque. So, uh, newton and millimeters. <clears throat> so, kung mag kilo newton meter ka, uh, newtons to kilonewtons divided by 1,000 millimeters to meters divided by 1,000 also. So, 6 ka 0. Pag 6 ka 0, the decimal will be uh, moved 6 pieces to the left. No? So, ang torque will be 753.98 or 754 kilonewton meter if you want. For this said 753.98 kilonewton meter. <clears throat> now, for the angle of twist, this is the formula TL over GG. And then substitute na to. By the way, sa, sa, for this formula, ang unit sa theta is radians. Kaya ang unit sa TL over JG, makancel man tanan. So, theta must be in radians. So, kining 1.2 degrees, i-convert sa daan to radians. So, i-multiply siya by pi over 180 para makancel ang degrees. Like this one. So, 1.2 degrees times pi over 180 para radians. And then T, ang L na to, 16 diameters man, 16 times 400. Ang J da yun, pi over 32 diameter is to 4. And times G. And solving, solving this equation gives us this one. And to convert the unit to kilonewton meters, again, Move the decimal six pieces to the left. 
and we have this one 699.21 kilonewton meter. What is asked here is determine the maximum torque the shaft can transmit. So, kanya ang value ma satisfy the two conditions. And I will never violate that. And sa duha, the maximum one is the smaller value, which is 699.1. Oh, because if you will use this one, 753.98, imo ni ganito ang dire. Ang resulting ang galog twist will be bigger than 1.2. So, dire na po yung dire. Kaya alawa mo. Mora ni ang gialaw eh, 1.2 degrees. But if you will use this value sa formula sa stress, ang makuha ni mong stress is less than 60. So, safe kayo. Wala yung ma-violate na conditions. So, money ang answer. 699.1 kN meter. Now, for letter B, If the shaft in A has a 200 millimeter axial hole bored throughout its length, meaning hollow shaft na 400 ang outer diameter, ang inner diameter is 200. So mahalo shaft na sa. By what percentage is the torsional load carrying capacity reduced? Same condition, the working stress is 60 megapascal and ang angle of twist is 1.2 kapon. Okay? So, same nga ako, same condition. I-test na to using condition sa working stress and also sa angle of twist. Ang ma-change lang dere is ang value sa J. Kaya, lahi man ang J or polar moment of inertia. Since, halos, halos shaft naman. Okay. So, same lang. No? Outer diameter 400, inner diameter 200. Naman tayo actual hole. Same condition sa, sa stress, angle of twist, uh, value sa G, as well as ang length niya, 16 diameter 7 of length. <clears throat> What is required is the percentage of T reduced. Thank you. This is the formula of stress uh, hollow shaft. No? And we have all the values except for T. So, you substitute, substitute na ito ang values. Na type T na this one. And same with letter A. Pag i-convert na ito to kilonewton meter, i-move na ito ang decimal six pieces to the left. Okay, 1,000 squared man ang i-divide, 6 ka 0. We have this one, 706.86 kN meter. And the other condition is angle of twist. Okay. And nasa tayo T na 655.4 kN meter. And again, select which among the two values is the maximum. And the answer is 655 maximum. So, mod decrease ya. Ang one, load carrying capacity niya. Mogamayin, 655 na lang, 0.4. Since now is a holder. So, ang question there is, What percentage is the torsional load carrying capacity reduced? Pila ka percent ang ano, mawala. Sige. So, percentage of the reduced is new value minus original value over original na value. Absolute value ah. Since ang new value is magamay man. So, absolute value na lang. So, pag solid shaft siya, ang load capacity, load gear and capacity niya is 699.1. Pero kung mahalo shaft siya, 
is only 655.4. So, ang percentage ng mga redos is this one. 6.25. Yes. Modicrease siya by ano, 43.7. Pero in terms of percent, 43.7 is only 6.25 percent. Ah, uh, 43.7 kilonewton meter is only 6.25 percent sa original na capacity, 699.1. Yeah. So, just use the absolute value para uh, positive ra result. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, na naman reduce the rate. So, amoni ang reduction in 6.25%. Okay. So, I hope the na amoy na learn aning uh, problem, no? especially ang sa L. No? Okay. Uh, Others cannot interpret or cannot determine the value of L. So, nasaan? 16 diameters of length. So, ang L niya is equal to 16 times B. Okay. So, that's it. Thank you for watching.